We get to build a race car. We had to buy the car from a teacher. $10,000 what you're giving. Nine week time frame. Race it against another school. And we're gonna go hunting for this notorious bug they call a yellow jacket. East Hickman Yellowbirds. Both teachers donated their cars. So they got to keep the $10,000 for parts. The car has to go to NADC. They have the skills and the tools to build the frame, and we do not because we're only teenagers and we have no idea what we're doing. When I first walked in there, I, I was speechless. I need the four link bars, upper control arms, the ball joints. Hobbs is getting pretty mad. Where is the rest of the car? You got brakes in, we got the rear end in. Everything at this point is two weeks away. We're trying to get it done, but as far as motivational, I'm just an hourly paid guy. I don't really care if it gets done or not. I think you ought to take the honors putting this first coat on. With East Tickman High, one thing that was good about their car is it's almost done. That paint job will make that car go 7% faster. This is supposed to be race ready in three and a half weeks. Yeah, never make it. I don't want to lose the way the car looks. I don't want to lose the race. I don't want to lose any of it. I don't even like to play checkered unless I can win. There it is. We got a mold that's been working inside of Fairview's organization, and we got a picture of it today. I hope that's not it, because it's sure ugly. Are you serious? <laughs> it's not what I thought it would be. It's just a white car. <laughs> I hope that's not your car, because if it is, a long ways behind. Along with the car race, I also have basketball conditioning I have to start going to. I still think that we can get the car done. There's a lot of work to do, yes, but we've got a lot of people that are helping us with it. We had a couple different doors. We were just trying to pick the ones with the best shape. Mr. Cobb says he brought this vehicle out with wood. Evidently, it's true, but all the bottom of this door panel is rusted away. And all we did was took a piece of metal from uh, old Camaro hood, and we cut that out. We formed it around the door to make it blend in with the door to make it look like it had never had holes in it in the first place. It was uh, very hard uh, work and sweating and everything. You got a five pound hammer maybe, it turns into about maybe 20 pounds it feels like. Once it gets all completed then it looks just like a brand new door. After all that work, we ended up scrapping the doors and buying two that were in better shape. But it's not a complete waste because you still got the experience and learning new information, like a new trade. Charles dropped by the shop to check out our progress. Welcome to the carnival, I'm the ringmaster. How you doing? Very motivated. He seems to do well on the phone. I mean, he's, he's pulled together a lot of resources. Do you think what this project has accelerated their learning a little bit oh, or maybe perhaps more knowledge ahead of time? Absolutely. The car right now. It's over to body shop. We're close to getting a dream motor. It's not for sure yet. Are you going to run a nitrous motor? Yeah, we are. And uh, we're going to be all over the 700 horse limit that we got. Yeah, Eagle One, right? Eagle One. They had their names embroidered into the back seat. That's the first time I've seen it. That's good. Charles, what do you think? You're on the right track. So what's uh, what's been the hardest part for you so far? If we had everything in front of us, we could have a car running in two weeks. And when do you expect the motor? Uh, no, Eagle! You guys have had about five weeks to work on the car. What's been the hardest part? Uh, it was a cage. Yeah. yeah. Well, it played still just fine, but that was the first time I had done it. Getting into radius and stuff like that was a little interesting. It took some getting used to. Yeah, round stuff. You can't really tell if the radius is changing, but you on your reach. What else stands out? The seats. They were a challenge, Steven. <laughs> hey, you drilled the wrong holes, too. First, he stripped out a bolt. And then I drilled the wrong holes to put it in the passenger side bracket. And then the next day, he drilled the wrong holes to put it in the passenger side bracket. So we had a lot of problems with the passenger seat also. I had to put a stop for the drilling. I didn't step in at that point. Still relatively a simple operation. You know, a lot of that stuff is bolt in. One of them said it took him 45 minutes to put the rear end in. 
You guys got a chance to spray a little bit? Anybody? Sam Blackson in the car went to Nashville. Went to Street Masters. It was pretty cool. How about the experience? I mean, you guys you guys learn a few more things than you thought you'd get a chance to do in the same amount of time. You, get, you have to do high school one time, man. It's, it's a great, great time in life. You know, all those kids were totally into it when we went to see them today. You know, I think a lot of them will stay interested in the sport. Are you ready? ready. Got a chance to go over to Fairview and get a look at the Monza. So you still got your hands full. There I was standing on the corner of Shangri La and Mesopotamia. What do you guys think the hardest part of this spin so far? Getting the car back. Getting the car back. <laughs> Took them three weeks longer than they were supposed to to get the chassis back. And they're trying to do a lot of this with a tube chassis, which is a lot of work. They can't put every body on it every day they have and every hour they have. There's no way they're going to be done early. I'd like to see them get them all in and get them doing something different. I think they need to give all these kids a shot at just doing the best that they can do. Here now, starting out. Oh, yeah. We are now. Be coming back every Thursday, night. Every night. This is going to be a late burner. They may pull it off, but they're going to have to cut corners to get there. They're not going to be able to give it their all, I think, with the amount of time that they have left. If that car were in my shop, I wouldn't be able to get it done by that deadline. They brought the car to me last night. We got a whole lot of work to do here in a short period of time. I don't know if there's any possible way to pull it off. We had the car show, and everybody shows up. We were excited about how many cars we had. I was kind of overwhelmed to be exact. Somebody scratches that car, they're going to have to deal with all of us. They brought the car to me last night. We got a whole lot of work to do here in a short period of time. I don't know if there's any possible way to pull it off. The car's at Dixon right now at a body shop. Uh, him and two other guys are going to be working on the car. Try to get the hole fixed and primed. That maybe I can turn it over to them. They can be doing something to it while I'm doing the rest of the stuff. We're going to try not to keep this thing over a week. I'm not sure where the car has been. I think somewhere along the line the ball got dropped or something. If we can't get it painted quick enough for our car show, then we're not going to paint it. We'll just have it in primer. Just like everything else in this deal, we had our car show before Fairviews. It started out pretty hectic for me, but then after about 10 minutes of that, it started to smooth out. The kids took over and they did what we talked about. We had the car show and everybody shows up. Wow. We were excited about how many cars we had. I was kind of overwhelmed to be exact. I didn't expect it to be this big. For our first show, we raised $7,000. We had a little over 300 cars, motorcycles and tractors. I want to see all their faces. Yeah. yeah. I think they'll be shocked. I just went got it. We were all just standing around, you know, waiting for the car to be loaded off the trailer, and Michael Brown comes up and is like, you now. So, you know, I'm following and all. Where are we going? And they tell me to jump in the back of the truck. <laughs> Folks, as you check this car out, you're standing around with a bunch of kids that have took a car from something really, really rough to where it's at now. But what you see is the product of our kids. Being able to actually see it like in the light and the way the light hits the paint is beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm in love with it. I love the color. Oh, oh man, it looks really. so pretty. I did go to the East Hickman car show and I saw it when they unveiled it. I hope there's nobody here from Fairview because we're going to break your heart. 
And you can just hear like a crowd like oohs and ahs, and just nice and shiny. We're looking at about a 700 horse motor, we're gonna spray it. They didn't have a motor or anything in it yet. So if you got something, you better bring it. Now we have something that we can say we're proud of. Proud to say I done it. It's life changing. I mean, I'd have never been able to do anything like this anywhere else. We're gonna have to keep from scratching it. If somebody scratches that car, they're gonna have to deal with all of us. No one scratches it. Break fingers. The best news of the day is we finally acquired a motor, and it is mean. We're going to cook up some Eagle Stew! Go East Hickman, crush those yellow jackets. They'd already got a rolling chassis and painted, and we were just getting ready to get ours just going. How about it, Eagles? I saw some pictures of it. One of the teachers here went to it and got some pictures for us and brought them back. They'd already got a rolling chassis and painted, and we were just getting ready to get ours just going. We need to get cracking. On a positive note, all our parts are coming in. The carburetors here, did I show you the carburetors the other day? Solid mechanical lifters, rollers. We've got the radiator, distributor, ignition system. We've got the gas pedal and a lot of the other little nitpicking things that we needed. Today, we've got something we need to get done. I have the rear end assembly back here. We've got to put the rest of the studs in it. That's what they are. 33 tall, 14 half inches wide, and using 15 inch rims. This is a 350 Chevrolet motor. I had Charlie and Travis prep our small block. I drove the kids to the NMRA Nationals. It was a long, loud, and bumpy ride. The kids are going to see some real drag racing and meet the folks that are building our engine. We're going to race this thing today. We're racing? Yeah. Actually, this is where we race Fairview in a couple of weeks. They were a lot of hot women there. Hey, Cody. So I was Be nice. Driver. I can't take them anywhere. There she goes. Oh, oh, no. No. Hey, guys, this is Steve Johnson. Steve is doing the nitrous on Eagle One and a ton of other stuff for us, too. I was in automotive class when I was a kid, and we just kind of worked on your everyday clunkers. To have an opportunity in high school to build a full-blown race car, I mean, what more could you want? Where's the women? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Something like that, maybe. <laughs> We're at the NMRA Ford Nationals. East drag, huh? This one will be good if you want me to do it again. I'm going to stand here all day long. All day long. Go East Hickman, crush those yellow jackets. <laughs> Sounded real sure on that one. <laughs> I know. Nathaniel found our enemy on the ground. It's a yellow jacket. Thank on the ground dwelling trash eating insects. Steve, come on, throw it down there. We tried to get Steve to eat it. You know, I'd never been to a drag race before all this. Seeing and hearing it for the first time was awesome. The highlight of the day was meeting our engine builder and Pro 5 champion, Tony Bischoff. He told us exactly what was going to power Eagle One. 434 cubic inch small block Ford. It said Elder Brock uh, Victor heads on it. Should have about 13 to 1 compression, and we're hoping to make about 700 horsepower. Just out of curiosity, my brother was going to drive the car, and he and his wife had a baby about this time, so that kind of put all of that out. I said, Brian, ask Tony if he'd be interested in driving our car never thinking that he would. We'll talk about that on Monday. Next couple weeks, I figure we'll probably get the sheet metal in. Finish putting the front end steering under it. Getting the transmission. Wiring it, plumbing, breaking it, seats, putting the glass in it. And then we got a hard week of getting the engine in. So we're gonna be busting the gut here for a lot of hours last week. There can't be any more sitting around not doing anything. Otherwise, this car won't be done. Baby, boom, boom, baby, home coming. It's where it is right here, baby. Yeah. 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 I think it's a good parade this year. Kids dressed up their vehicles with some real neat stuff. We're getting fired up for the game tonight against the Eagles. 
I think it's going to be a good ball game. Both are winless. One of them going home with bragging rights. Hopefully we win. We're going to crush them. We're going to beat Fairview. We're going to win. Oh, we're going to kick Fairview's butt. Like they better come up with a better battle plan once they've got. To do what must be done. That was technical difficulties in our football players. Now for the real show. We're gonna start off with the car show and tell them about it. And then we get into the Eagles too business. We're gonna let her rip. I'll meet you down at the end down here. And they'll start swinging them. We use these guys to block for us in case they start chasing us. All right, fair view. November the 3rd. We're going to the drag race. Beach Bend, Kentucky. I had no idea what he was up to. Drag race high against East Hickman again. We're gonna cook up some eagle stew. How about it, eagles? Let's hear ya. Let's go. Get it, get it, get it! Get it, get it, get it! Uh, I'm going to go back up here. After some funning, I congratulated Todd on the photos I'd seen of his car. We got him up here on a broken board. For some reason, they got a bunch of darts in it. I don't know how they showed up. <laughs> Most of all, ours are just showing is before and right up to the point where we are. A bunch of bare metal. Well, we were going to stay about three weeks behind. And... I'm three weeks behind. I'm praying for rain the third. <laughs> This is Thomas Baker. He's gonna drive the car for Fairview. He had some concerns about ours. The main thing is we don't get nobody hurt, including me. There have been very few people in this country that would have got in a car knowing kids built it. We got some good news this weekend. We got a driver. Some people have been my junior. <laughs> it's coming. A couple pennies. We really started feeling bad. We got to finish that out, and they didn't get to do that. There have been very few people in this country that would have got in a car knowing kids built it. This is Thomas Baker. He's going to drive the car for Fairview. He had some concerns about ours, and when you're putting together something this fast and it's dealing with kids and you kind of want to look and see what you got. What do you want to do? That boy did this welding right here to the Cracker Jack job. The main thing is we don't get nobody hurt, including me. Nice car. You've really done a nice job on it. Thank you. I think we'll all do fine. It's going to be close. I don't think anybody's going to have no, no major advantage here. I'm just hoping to beat you off the line. <laughs> it won't be me you're racing, Thomas. We got some good news this weekend. And I won't use the words that he used, but he goes, yes, he'll drive the car. We got a driver, Pro 5 champion, Tony Bischoff. Woo! <laughs> Some people have been my junior. <laughs> it's coming. A couple pennies. Our car show was a great success. We had about 60 cars and raised several thousand dollars. Unfortunately, we're not going to unveil the car today, but progress is being made. Thursday, a couple other guys come up. We got all the body work done on the quarters. Even though we didn't have a $25,000 paint job on it, it is in primer. We got it in the booth, got it primed. They picked it up Thursday afternoon so they could get it back to the chassis shop. And the car now is in uh, Dixon, Tennessee, a place called Titan Engineering, where they're putting the four link under it for us because they had to do some cutting that we're not able to do here. We got our dummy engine and transmission set in. Some people don't think we're going to get it finished or it's just going to be really close. Yeah, everybody's getting 
little wary about it, just hoping that we have enough time to be able to get everything done because we've just got so much to do. I just transferred here a few weeks ago, so all I've really been able to do is a little bit of body work, sanding, and getting it ready for priming paint. Just imagine the last week is going to be a lot of late nights uh, for me and the kids. Well, I, I work at my uncle's shop during the afternoon, but uh, as soon as I get out of there, I'll probably be coming up here to work on it and make sure we get done in time and all that. And then we've got to try to figure out someplace before we take it to the track and get it someplace so we can actually see how the car is going to handle it because we don't know which way it's going to go or launch. We may have to do it right here in the middle of the parking lot, put us down a puddle of water and burn it off. Let's be spontaneous. We really started feeling bad. We got to finish that out, and they didn't get to do that. You out here spying for the high school, aren't you? No. No. We decided to come on. Well, good. I wish we had a car here. We ain't got to be good to go. Y'all can hide, Jones. Yeah, yeah. Our stars are still in pieces. And that's what I hear. Yeah. Bodies one place, fenders at another, and the doors are coming by the bus. That's a race car. Theirs is a hopped up street machine. Fixing to drop the rear end on the ground here. All of what we did just now have to be undone, have to take it all back out, drive the muscle shoals, and pick up another one. We were two, three weeks ahead of them. We got to a point, and bam, our feet got cut out from under. I just really don't think he'd do it. It'd be a miracle if, if he's where he's at to get it finished. They had the same issue when they were starting out. They didn't know they was going to get the race. I hope he's built another car besides this one. We're going to get the car done regardless. If not, it's going to be a disappointing day when we get to Bowling Green. We've built a full-fledged race car.